Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to talk about the best laptops for engineering students and what features you look for. As an engineering student, you might be running demanding software like the card tools, programming environments, and simulation software. So you'll need a system, you need a laptop with a fast processor, a dedicated graphics card, and a lot of RAM. I'll go over some great options from different price points from HP, Dell, Lenovo, and more. Whether you're on a budget or on the latest, greatest technology, I got you covered. Just stick around for my recommendations and let's get into it. Oh, before we get into it, I would appreciate if you like and subscribe. It really helps build the channel. Thank you. We are going to look at the features that you consider when getting a laptop, you know, from the processor to the screen, battery life, RAM, graphics card, you name it. So let's start with the processor. I would advise you get a laptop with an Intel Core i5 or i7. I don't want to go over to i9 because it might be more expensive. And then you can consider AMD Ryzen 5 or 7. Faster is better and it's very good you go for the one that has 2.5 gigahertz. Next is RAM. RAM is what allows you to run multiple demanding softwares on your computer without slowing it down. So for engineering, I would advise you get a minimum of like 8 to 12. You shouldn't go below that. More is better in this case too. Another thing to consider is having a laptop with a very good graphics card. You can get the one with the NVIDIA GTX or RTX with at least 4 gig dedicated memory. Integrated graphics card will not always be enough to run some of the demanding engineering tasks. But if you run normal tasks, I think you're good to go. The next one is storage. This is very important. Here I will recommend you get a laptop with at least 512 gig for fast boot and load times. Some laptops also have a secondary hard drive which provides extra storage for large files. Like I myself, I use a laptop that has 256 gig, but I have extra storage of 256 gig. That sums it up to 512. Another important feature you should consider is the screen. Here it's not always about the size of the screen, especially if you have an external monitor. But a larger screen will make it easier to view detailed designs, schematics and code. So for this, I'd recommend you go for a 15 inch screen or a larger HD or higher resolution display. Battery life. For engineering students who use their laptops in the class, they are always on the go, maybe you go to the cafe to use your laptops. I think it's good you get a laptop that can last 8 to 12 hours. And there are some laptops that can even go 10 to 12 on a single charge, which is even better. Other useful features that you should consider, some of them I think are like personal preferences, like having a laptop with a backlit keyboard, especially if you really work in the night, or having a laptop with a fingerprint sensor, face ID, and I think it's very good you get a laptop with a good webcam, considering that since when COVID came, we've spent a lot of time working on Zoom, on Microsoft Teams, having a lot of uh, video conferences. So I think it's very good you have a laptop with a very good webcam. Some around like 720p to 1080p will be a very good one. Also consider a laptop with a strong build quality because an engineering laptop would get a lot of views so you'll want a laptop which will last. Now down to the part that you've been waiting for, the recommendations. We're going to start with the Dell XPS 15. This is a 15 inch laptop with a gorgeous 3.5 OLED display. It has met all the criteria I mentioned above. If you want me to go into details, I would like to point out that it has Intel Core i7 processor, with a very good NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics card and then enough storage of around 512 gig SSD and then 16 gig of RAM. It has impressive performance and it has a good webcam to go with, I think around 720p. Now the next laptop is the ROG Zephyrus, a little difficult to pronounce. This is a 14 inch laptop with AMD Ryzen 9 and a good graphics card. This is a laptop 
that has also met with all the criteria that we mentioned above. It has a whooping one terabyte SSD storage and a good processor, AMD Ryzen 9, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphic card. It weighs around 3.5 pounds. It has great performance with excellent audio and display. It has a super portable design paired with 11 hour battery life. The only downside is it has no webcam. Now the next two laptops I'll be reviewing are more affordable than the first two that I mentioned. They are somewhere below a thousand dollars. The first one is going to be the HP Pavilion 15. This is a 15 inch laptop with an Intel Core i7 processor and it has a slightly different graphics card than the first two. It has the Intel Iris XE graphics, which I think you're good to go with with a 16 gig RAM and 512 gig SSD. It has the HP fast charge, which lets you go from zero to 50% charge in approximately 45 minutes. And they claim that it is 15 times faster than a traditional hard drive. The next one is the Acer Aspire 5. This happens to be the laptop that I am using. And this is probably going to be the cheapest laptop in this video because it goes right down around 400 to 500 dollars what more can you ask for it has a 15 inch display you can either go with the amd or the intel mine is the intel core i5 10th gen i've been using it for a while now it has an 8 gig ram of course not up to the 16 but it's good to go. I've been using it for a while and I've not had any issue with it. It has the 256 gig SSD storage. For under $500, you get a really fast, extremely lightweight and ultra portable laptop. Now, considering that all the laptops I mentioned are Windows laptops, I know some people like the iOS. So the next one is going to be the Apple MacBook Pro with the M2 chip. I think this is the 2022 version. It's a really cheaper option than the recent ones. This is a 13 inch laptop, considering that the 14 and the 16 inch MacBook Pro are really expensive. It has a RAM of 8 gig, but you can go for the 16 gig. Also for the storage is 256, but you can have the option for 512 gig. This laptop has, according to Apple, up to 20 hours of battery life which can go all day and into the night it has a greatly improved webcam i think it has the best webcam amongst all the laptops that we mentioned it also has touch id like we talked about the latest greatest technology the last but not the least is the dell gs15 this is a laptop that has you know great overall performance it has impressive battery life with a colorful display it has a 15 inch display and also it meets all the criteria that we mentioned it has a ryzen 5 and a really good graphics card this time the amd radeon rx and also you have different options for the ram you can get 8 up to 16 gig of ram and for the storage too is quite flexible you can go for the 256 up to one terabyte ssd now those are the laptops that i really recommend but apart from those there are some notable mentions like the asus zenbook duo 14 a really new innovative laptop that has a really new touchpad none that i've seen before and also the lenovo idea part 3 and the lenovo thinkpad z13 and also the apple macbook air 13 with the m2 chip I think that's a really good one because it has improved performance because of the processor. It can carry out the engaging, you know, intensive tasks of engineering softwares. There you have it. I hope this video really helps you in getting the best laptop for you. Make sure you check the description with the links to all the laptops that I mentioned. And don't forget to hit the like or subscribe button. And please drop in the comments if I miss some great laptops out there. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.